Welcome to another series of Biomedical Engineers TV. In this series, we will know about ultrasound machines. In this episode, we will cover introduction to ultrasound machines and classification of ultrasound machines. So, let's begin with the introduction to the ultrasound machines. It's easy to credit Dr. Ian Donald and engineer Tom Brown with the invention of ultrasound. However, the actual technology dates back to the late 1700s and it went through plenty of discoveries and changes over the years. The first time ultrasound was used for clinical reasons was in 1956. It was used in Glasgow by an obstetrician named Ian Donald and an engineer named Tom Brown. These two men developed the first prototype system for ultrasound, but it wasn't perfected until the end of the 1950s. The history of the ultrasound dates back even further than the 1950s, however. Here's a look at when ultrasound was first studied all the way through to the way it's used today. In 1794, Lazzaro Spallanzini, a physiologist, became the first person to study anything related to ultrasound. He was studying echolocation among bats. While this isn't ultrasound as we know it today, it was based on a type of ultrasound physics. It wasn't until 1877 that we see anything else come about to do with the ultrasound. Jacques and Pierre Curie were the first to discover piezoelectricity. This discovery was very important to ultrasound, since the ultrasound transducers or probes receive and emit sound waves by using the piezoelectric effect. Another discovery helping to shape ultrasound as we know it today came in 1950. This discovery was made by Paul Langevin, a physicist, after the Titanic sank. Langevin was commissioned to create a device that would detect objects found on the bottom of the ocean. He ended up inventing a hydrophone, which was referred to as the first transducer by the World Congress on Ultrasound in Medical Education. Let's know about classification of ultrasound machines. Ultrasound machines can be classified into three categories. One is conventional ultrasound machines, the second portable ultrasound machines, and the third handheld ultrasound machines. Conventional ultrasound machines were bulkier systems in the early days and as development in the technology and the computers became smaller, the conventional machines became smaller in size. The conventional ultrasound machines consist of ultrasound transmission and reception section, PC section, where the sampled ultrasound signal is converted into video signals, and the user interface, where the user can operate the machine. This type of machine can give you high resolution images or video output. In classification, the second machine is portable ultrasound, which most likely looks like a laptop with an ultrasound probe. This machine can be used for intra-hospital transport or kept in operating rooms. This type of ultrasound has a disadvantage that you have to change certain probes for different applications. Most trained radiographers don't recommend this type of machine because of the resolution difference between conventional ultrasound. The third type of ultrasound machine is handheld ultrasound machines. For over 10 years, small portable sonographic machines have been becoming an established concept in the emergency medicine departments to expedite the medical work. The addition of the wireless application to sonographic probes permits a quicker ultrasound scan of the patients directly in their rooms, especially to obtain vascular access, implant cardiovascular electric devices, or measure the neuraxial depth. This also facilitates the establishment of an electronic archival system for an immediate doctor consultation from everywhere. Recently, 
a handheld wireless ultrasound machine able to connect to any iOS or Android device through secure Wi-Fi, has been built and launched in the medical world. This was the introduction and classification of ultrasound machines video. In the next video, we will learn about ultrasound probes. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video.